In this video, we will discuss the best graphics cards for a Ryzen 3 3200G. We all know that it is important to have a GPU with enough power to handle gaming and other high-intensity tasks. If you have a Ryzen 3 3200G and want to know which is the best GPU for your system, then this video will help. We will discuss different aspects of each GPU so that you can find the perfect one for your setup. I'll also leave the links to discussed projectors in the description, you can check them for more information and the latest prices. Starting our list with MSI Armor RX 574GB. The MSI RX 570 Armor 4GB is a perfect choice for gamers who are looking for a budget GPU for gaming at 1080p. When paired with Ryzen 3 3200G, this graphics card was running every latest game like Assassin's Creed Odyssey, Metro Exodus, Far Cry New Dawn with high graphics settings. Not all the games will hit 60 plus FPS. Cyberpunk 2077 was also running smoothly on medium graphics quality. The GPU has 2048 CUDA cores and 4GB GDDR5 memory. The 8GB version of RX 578 GB is also available, but we didn't notice a major difference in performance as compared to the 4GB version. The GPU has a boost clock speed of 1268 MHz that making it 2% faster than the reference model. The cooling performance of the MSI RX 570 Armor is excellent. During heavy gaming, the GPU was 100% loaded and it doesn't reach more than 65 degrees Celsius. The temp stayed below 63 degrees Celsius during less intensive games. Many gamers favor online multiplayer games like COD, Warzone, Fortnite, Apex Legends, etc. over other games. This GPU can also be the superb budget option for them. To gain extra performance in gaming, you can also overclock this GPU. The power consumption of this graphics card is not satisfying. But overall it's a great gaming GPU for budget 1080p gaming. At number 2 it's MSI GTX 1650 Super, Gaming X the GTX 1650 Spur is the best budget option for gamers and content creators. Compared to the RX 574 GB, the GTX 1650 Super is more powerful with a slight price increase. This graphics card can run every latest game smoothly when paired with Ryzen 3 3200G the GPU was running Assassin's Creed Odyssey, Metro Exodus, Far Cry, New Dawn, with max graphics setting, and almost every game reached 60 plus FPS. In some games, you have to lower some graphics preset to reach 60 plus frame rates. The MSI GTX 1650 Super has 1280 CUDA cores and 4 GB of GDDR6 memory. The GPU has a boost clock speed of 1755 MHz. The MSI GTX 1650 Super performed almost 4% better than AMD RX 588 GB and almost 20% faster than RX 574 GB in the majority of the games. The cooling performance of this GPU is very appreciable. The MSI GTX 1650 Super provided excellent cooling. During intense gaming, the GPU temperature stayed between 61 to 63 degrees Celsius. Not only the cooling performance is great, but the fans are also inaudible during gaming. The GPU has above average productive performance. It can easily edit and render video very fast. The GPU is very power efficient, more than double as compared to RX 574 GB. If we look at its price performance ratio, I didn't find anything bad in this GPU. At number 3 it's EVGA GeForce GTX 1660 Super SC Ultra. The EVGA GTX 1660 Super is the best graphics card in terms of performance that you can pair with Ryzen 3 3200G, it can run the majority of the latest games with high graphics, 60 plus FPS at 1080p. If you have a high refresh rate monitor, then you can also enjoy a sports games with 120 or 144 HZ. Its performance lies between GTX 1660 and GTX 1660 tie. Compared to both cards, the GTX 1660 Super provides the best value for money. The EVGA GTX 1660 Super has 1408 CUDA cores and fast 6GB GDDR6 memory. The GPU has a boost clock speed of 1830 MHz. 
when paired with Ryzen 3 3200G. The GTX 1660 Super performed 10% better than GTX 1660 with not much price increase. As compared to AMD RX 590, it performed 16% better. The EVGA did a decent job with the coolers of this model. The GPU stayed cool even after long gaming. If during intense gaming you'll turn the game sound off, then you'll hear noise from the fans. The card also has good overclocking potential, you can gain almost 5-6% to 6 more performance in gaming. The power efficiency is extraordinary, more than double efficient if we compare it with AMD RX 588 GB. The EVGA GTX 1660 Super SC Ultra is the recommended GPU for Ryzen 3 3200G if you want to gain the best performance in gaming and productive work. The EVGA model is factory overclocked and has no price increase over the reference model. With this GPU, you can play every latest game at 1080p with 60fps. At number 4 it's Zodak GTX 1660 Twin Fan 6GB. The Zodak 1660 Twin Fan is a great GPU in contrast to the AMD RX 590. This GPU is a good option for players who are looking for something more budget-friendly than GTX 1660 Super. Zodak also didn't increase the price over MSRP. This graphics card provides outstanding performance at its price. In 1080p gaming, the Zodak GTX 1660 is 9% faster than AMD RX 590 and almost 18% faster than NVIDIA GTX 1066 GB. Both of these cards are considered good for 1080p gaming. That makes the Zodak GTX 1660 a great choice for gamers who want to play games at 1080p high graphics settings. Zodak GTX 1660 Twin Fan comes with 1408 CUDA cores and has 6GB GDDR5 memory. The GPU has a boost clock speed of 1785 MHz. The GPU has a great dual fan cooling system. The dual fan keeps the GPU cool even when the card is fully loaded. The graphics card has wonderful power efficiency and by overclocking almost 12% performance can be gained. When paired with Ryzen 3 3200G, you can enjoy 1080p gaming. With high graphics at 1080p, the card was providing 6-6 FPS in AC, Odyssey, 7-5 FPS in Metro, Exodus, 8-5 in Witcher Home 3. These FPS results are impressive. The Zodak GTX 1660 Twin Fans is an excellent choice for budget gamers. Compared to other cards in its competition, it provides better performance and price. At number 5 it's Asus Dual NVIDIA GeForce RTX 2060. Talking about the RTX 2060 Super is another version of NVIDIA's RTX 2060 Super. Being an upgraded edition of RTX 2060, it is an excellent value of the new Navi-based graphics processors. The Asus Dual RTX 2060 comes with the same design and specs as NVIDIA announced. The Asus Dual 2060 comes with a boost in VRAM, which is firmly helpful in playing games with the help of DirectX 12. Hence the RTX 2060 has the advantage of ray tracing over other graphics cards, all because of its Turing architecture, which helps the graphics card to boost its performance. Talking about the connection, the RTX 2060 comes with 2.0 HDMI ports and also two ports for display, along with a single DVI-D port. Also, it is quite comforting for the eyes. The metal backplate gives it a hulking look. The Asus Dual RTX 2060 comes with advanced cooling technologies derived from the flagship's cards. Hence, the RTX 2069 optimizes itself for substance over style. Being the perfect choice for a well-maintained build, we declare this card as the second-best graphics card for Ryzen 5 3400G. What you get in return for spending the extra money is a card that is far quieter and cooler than the Squirrel Cage fan model that vents out the rear. This has all the features anyone could want. Runs cool and quiet. Hasn't exceeded 58C even after hours of gaming on ultra settings with high FPS. And with that, we come to the end of our review. With AMD Ryzen 3 3200G, all the budget or mid-range segments graphics cards will work fine.